Hello friends, welcome, welcome to our channel Chemistry Crafters with Banu and I am Arun Kumar. Today we will discuss what is viscosity, what is the importance of viscosity for toilet cleaners and for toilet cleaners how we can determine viscosity. First let us try to understand what is viscosity in simple terms. Just imagine a glass plate. I am pouring 100 ml of water over the glass plate. What will happen? That water will come down, will flow down. Isn't it? Again, instead of water, I am pouring 100 ml oil, either coconut oil or whatever the oil. What will happen? Again, it will come down, it will flow down, but slowly. Because the viscosity of oil is greater than that of water. Again, instead of oil, I am pouring 100 ml honey. 100 ml honey over the glass plate. What will happen? Honey will come down. Of course, much slower. Because the viscosity of honey is greater than that of oil. So, in conclusion, viscosity means we can understand like this. Resistance. Resistance of a particular liquid or fluid over the surface to flow. If viscosity increases, its resistance also will increase. That is the point. That is viscosity. Next, we will discuss what is the importance of viscosity for toilet cleaners. Before that, let us recall our understanding regarding the toilet cleaners. What is the active ingredient in toilet cleaner? Hydrochloric acid. Of course, diluted hydrochloric acid. Where we are using the toilet cleaner? We are using toilet cleaner only at toilet bowl. For what purpose we are using the toilet cleaner? Mainly two reasons. The first one is to kill the gems. Of course, acids are capable of, even the dilute acids are capable of killing the gems. And second purpose is to remove the mineral stains caused by fresh water. Of course, acids are capable of dissolving mineral stains. So, let us come to the point, viscosity. In entire toilet bowl, the total amount of microorganisms, the total amount of gems will be very less, less than the size of the dot. So, to kill that much amount of microorganisms, only 1 ml or 2 ml hydrochloric acid is sufficient. But do you think, is it possible, just think it of, we are spraying the acid throughout the toilet bowl. So, it will take at least 50 ml or even 80 ml, 100 ml. And one more thing, spraying the acids is not safe, not a safer process. Spillage, acid spillage is possible and uh, vapors will come out. So, not safe for the users and also not safe for the toilet bowl, not safe for the environment and manufacturing cost also will increase. So, to overcome all these problems, we are doing one process. We are taking 2 ml hydrochloric acid, of course that is sufficient to kill all the microorganisms and taking 10 parts of water, mixing them. We are making diluted acid and we are adding one acid thickener, thickening agent. So, we are making around 20 ml of viscous liquid. By using the toilet brush, it is possible to spread the 20 ml of viscous liquid throughout the toilet bowl, including the rim, including the rim, it is possible. So, this process is possible only if that fluid is having some particular amount of viscosity. So, this is the importance of viscosity for toilet cleaners. And one more thing, for toilet cleaners, additionally, we are adding coloring agents, generally blue color. The reason is, we can easily observe where the toilet cleaner has reached, at what surface it is reached, it is not reached. So, we can get the perfect cleaning process throughout the surface. So, blue color will give some brightening effect against void after the washing process. Next, we will see how to determine viscosity for toilet cleaners. 
Many methods are available. We will simply discuss 4 cup viscosity measurement. This is a very simple method and everyone can do and reliable results. Let us get into the demo. This is 4 cup viscometer. This is 4 cup 100 ml capacity. At the bottom of the cup, we can see one tiny hole. In this cup, we need to take the liquid for which we need to determine the viscosity. The viscosity is the time consumed by the liquid to drain completely. That is what now we are going to determine. This is surface level indicator. By using this indicator, we can ensure the matching surface level with instrument. Today, we are going to determine viscosity for one branded toilet cleaner. I have taken Domex. For viscosity measurements, we need 100 ml, but I am taking little excess. I am taking 150 ml because we should fill the cup till it overflows. This is Domex. It looks like brown color. I am using my mobile phone instead of stopwatch. Now the timer is set to zero. First, I am arresting the bottom hole of the cup with my finger and pouring toilet cleaner. If necessary, we can use gloves. I am filling the cup until it overflows. Now I am starting the timer. The important point is simultaneously we should remove the finger and start the timer. Ok, now I will wash my fingers and I will come back. And during the flow process, we need to observe whether the liquid is continuously flowing without any break and the consistency is good. Good means homogeneous solution. Now I am taking the mobile phone and ready to stop immediately after the complete draining. I am carefully watching the flow and one more thing during this process we should wear goggles and we should keep our face distance at least 2 to 3 feet away from the food cup. Some toilet cleaners are having viscosity around 50-55 seconds. Now exactly at 59th second the process is getting completed. So the viscosity for this particular toilet cleaner is 59 seconds. And we need to repeat the same experiment at least 2 or 3 times and we need to take the average value. And we may choose any one branded toilet cleaner and fix its viscosity as our reference standard. While fixing the viscosity of our toilet cleaner, another important point is we need to consider the diameter of the mouth of the toilet cleaner bottle. Finally, in conclusion, those who are doing toilet cleaner making as small scale business can ensure the viscosity of the toilet cleaner if they have the viscometer. Viscosity measurement is very simple measurement. Thank you friends, thank you for watching this video, your suggestions and feedbacks are always welcome.